can or should a private commercial district charge buses toll for ferry employees working and people who have business to do in the area? Even after these were allowed by government authorities to service the route within the business district for a time. This is what happened at the Bonifacio Global City in Taguig, and now the buses have stopped the service. At the start of the month, Green Frog Zero Emission Transport Corporation, which operates 10 hybrid buses, initially plying a special route from C5 Puting to the corner of Taft Avenue and Buendia, and later extending the service to the Mall of Asia and adding a segment connecting C5 Calayaan to Market Market in Bonifacio Global City. Green Frog is among the few transport companies that responded to government's call to encourage the entry of more energy-efficient and less pollutive buses into the mass transport network. Transportation authorities had exempted buses powered by hybrid engines or alternative and cleaner fuels from the moratorium on the issuance of franchises on certain routes. Passengers are charged from 20 to 30 pesos depending on where they get on and off. Green Frog buses also use tap-and-go cards for regular passengers who don't want the hassle of having to pay cash for every ride. Part of the innovative transport company's efforts to operate a clean, green, convenient, and efficient service. However, the Bonifacio Estates Corporation, which manages the Bonifacio Global City, has decided to charge Green Frog a toll of 250 pesos every time each of its buses passes through the commercial district. Showing that it will strictly impose a toll, BEC traffic enforcers have stopped Green Frog buses to demand payment of the toll. This has prompted Green Frog to stop running on BGC streets. Green Frog executives claim that 250 pesos per bus per entry toll will make its operations unprofitable. This has affected the scores of passengers who have been enjoying the convenience offered by Green Frog buses plying routes within the BGC and those heading to Moa from the Taguig's prime commercial district. Green Frog's operation at the BGC area shows there may be a demand for bus transport in the route entering or passing through the BGC connecting main junctions along the C5 towards Pasay City and SM Mall of Asia. But the impasse between Green Frog and the BEC can prevent this from fully developing into a viable and convenient route for the commuting public. Perhaps government, transport authorities, and local government units can help break this impasse. The BGC could benefit more from a transport network that will make it more convenient for the public, including residents and those working or doing business in Taguig's prime business district from an efficient and, yes, green mass transport system. I received an email Tuesday afternoon, May 26th, that I had to hand in certain requirements by June 1st in order to continue running to MOA. You know, there were four requirements I had to hand in, copies of my OR, CR, emissions testing report, endorsement of Taguig, and I think there was one more. And then number five said that starting June 1, they were going to impose a 250 per bus per entry toll on Green Frog. <laughs>